In our fast-paced modern world, stress is something that so many people suffer from. Of course, it has an impact on our emotional life and our psychological well-being. Now, one crucial dimension is emotional processing. That is the way in which we handle emotional events in our lives. So when you're faced with a significant stress, um, a healthy emotional processing style will help you to assimilate and cope with um, those stresses far better and with an unhealthy style, you, the, the emotional event will remain unprocessed and retain all its raw power to agitate and disrupt. Well, at Bournemouth University, we've been um, developing a way of assessing uh, your emotional processing strengths and weaknesses, and it's called the Emotional Processing Scale. This is the Emotional Processing Scale, which is based on the person's emotional reactions in the last seven days to things that happened to them. The interesting and useful bit in therapy is when these are entered onto the profile sheet, which is based on the typical emotional responses of, of UK individuals. This is a high score up here, a, a problematic score, um, and better than average here. So we can see with this man who was experiencing a lot of stress uh, that the highest score of the lot is in the avoidance dimension. He avoided uh, anything upsetting to do with his emotions. Again, the signs of unprocessed emotion is very high. So this is signs that something's not been dealt with yet, such as intruding feelings, long-lasting emotional reactions. Being able to identify your emotional processing strengths and weaknesses is the first step in improving the way you handle the storms of stress when they surround you. Now this emotional processing scale is a new way, it's a totally different way of approaching psychological problems and already it's influencing practice in quite a few ways.